Welcome back to Watches Oliver Smith. I'm with George Reed in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we're talking about two very historic Panerais today, one from the 50s, 1950s, and one from, I think, 1997. To be specific, the Pam yeah. 21. Yeah. But first, we're going to talk about what we're wearing on our wrist. Uh, George picked up this piece this week. It's a Blanc Pond stainless steel. Uh, annual calendar, triple date calendar, what do you call it, George? It's a complete calendar complete or a triple calendar. date moon phase. Triple uh, date moon phase. Ju just a step below the annual calendar. Yeah. Really but beautiful watch. Looks good with a white shirt. Yeah, elegant and stainless steel. You'd look, uh, you'd look good in this at the office. And I am wearing uh, Rolex's 116500. Uh, it is the white dialed stainless steel Daytona with the ceramic bezel. So tell us about our Panerais today. Okay, um, today we've got uh, probably, well, we have a one of one um, and a one of few. Uh, I'm going to start with the older one here. Uh, this is uh, Panerai's reference 3646 modified with the Angelus movement. So the story here, as some of you will know, is that Panerai held the contract uh, to make watches for the Italian Navy. And what was happening is uh, back then, this was actually kind of new technology. This was literally taking a pocket watch, modifying it and strapping it on your wrist kind of a thing. Yeah. So these guys were um, in the middle, in, in, in field, were opening up their watches and winding them. Uh, the, the original Rolex movements that were in these watches had um, a, a roughly 38 hour power reserve. So your watch would stop out in the field and these guys would literally open their watch in water and it was hurting the watches. Um, these guys didn't, didn't know any better. Um, it was new technology. So Panerai took a handful of these watches and modified them to have the Angelus eight day movement. So when fully wound, this watch has eight days worth of power reserve. What's fascinating, out of the six watches modified, this is the only one to have what we call a four-line dial, four lines of text on the dial, the Marina Militaire, and an exhibition case back. So it's literally a one-of-one one watch. Now, um, when these watches kind of come to light, come to the surface, um, there's often controversy. And there were a number of people who followed this market who know these watches intimately. And a few of them reached out to us um, about different stuff. So this one here, we believe the hands were replaced later on during a service and one of the bridges was also replaced. Right. But exactly. literally, I mean, for being a 70 year old watch, I hope I have all my original parts at 70. Um, I, I, I don't think I will. Good point. Yep. Yeah. And then next to it, um, is one of my personal favorite watches ever made. It is the Pam 21 from 1997. We could not get this watch originally when I it thought, first came out. I it thought was, I would never see one. It's in platinum too, right? This is, this is a platinum, platinum piece, yep, yep. Um, so 47 millimeter platinum uh, radiomere. The movement- And this was really the pride and joy of Mr. Bonatti when yeah. he was, uh, yep. you know, had taken over a president. The story goes that uh, he found these movements in the Panerai factory. Yeah, literally do, doing inventory on his new purchase. They had just purchased Panerai and they found a crate of these Rolex movements right. from, from World War II. Right. So uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Bonatti decided that Panerai was going to do its first ever limited edition. They remade the 1936, the original Radiomere. They did it in platinum and they did a limited edition of 60 pieces. Now, technically, um, and this is, this is just rumor, I don't know this for a fact, but I've heard that there is a double zero out there. So <laughs> technically there could be 61 of these pieces. But um, this was one of those watches that was just immediately snatched up, disappeared, uh, never to see the light of day. Every once in a while, one will show up at auction. Um, it's just really rare to see this. It's on its original strap, platinum buckle. You have this absolutely lovely Rolex pocket watch movement. Yeah. Um, oh, and, and okay, so. The, 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 uh, also the thing, this uh, encompasses the essence of everything Panerai, which is we want to tell what time it is. Yeah. It's a tool to tell what time it is quickly. There's nothing else complicating this watch. You can tell the time immediately and you can tell the time from a distance or with bad vision. Correct, because yeah. Because it's yeah. really clear. Absolutely by design, uh, these watches were meant to get wet and as you go deeper, you lose light. So uh, it had to be a certain diameter. It had to quickly convey the information it needed to convey, and it had to be luminescent. Yeah. Hence, yeah. Um, hence radio mirror. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful timepiece. Absolutely. Yeah. 
and can be worn as a sport watch or a dress watch. Absolutely, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I so have I have a it. modern version of this in my in my personal collection. Yeah, it actually it is one of those watches that you can dress for any occasion with. So if you want to find out more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watches Oliver Smith. Thanks for tuning Stay in, guys. Stay tuned.